and he will throw on first down. Eyes downfield, out of the pocket, tosses one man-to-man -to -man coverage, and J.J. Jones climbs the ladder and pulls it in. Quarterback run. May into the secondary. Inside the 15-yard line before he's tripped up by Leofau. But Drake May sees the field so well. That's an advantage down in the red zone. You can build in true pass concepts to attack this Notre Dame defense. He looks to the three wide receiver side and now scrambles. At the 10, at the 5, and that looks to be good enough for a first down. Jack Kaiser tripped him up, but another scramble for Drake May. He's got 11 more. Fourth and goal from the four-yard line. May to throw. Back corner of the end zone. Gets it in. struggled early his first career start last week against Cal but settled down and now he's in an empty backfield and comes the blitz and down he goes power Eccles comes off the edge for a seven yard sack North Carolina brings a blitz spinning out of trouble and extending the play as Pine he's gonna try and run for it he's got the first down and more Awareness from Drew Pine as we head back to Kevin Nagandi. And North Carolina's defense pitches a shutout in the opening 15 minutes. But it was a first down to end the first quarter. For Drew Pine. Down the sideline, wide open Logan Diggs. Makes a move. And there's the chunk play that Matt Brown was worried about. Power Eccles eventually tracked down Diggs. But it's a 40-yard game. Play action. Wide open is Mayer, and he's going to walk in for a Notre Dame touchdown. Estime right up the middle into the secondary, and there goes Audric Estime. Close to the North Carolina 30-yard line before he's finally brought down. 29-yard run by Estime. Play action. Shot to the end zone, touchdown, Lorenzo Styles. Flag down back in the offensive backfield. Smart enough and sudden enough to get in between the backer and in, sit, kind of sit in that zone. And now Amari and Hampton breaking tackles and picking up a first down. A gain of 12. You're really going to start right here with Josh Downs. Is there a matchup that you love in man-to-man -man coverage, him versus Bracey in the slot? May takes a shot down the sideline. It's J.J. Jones to the three-yard line. They get the snap off. May lobs one wide up and he's down. He's got another. Another touchdown for Josh Downs. Tyree behind Mayer into the secondary again. Picks up 20. And we still have four minutes to go in the first half. There's some play action on the fake. There's Mayer to the 10 yard line. Down to the five yard line. Back in his way, close to the two. First and goal for Notre Dame. He'll run it again, and he will walk into the end zone. An easy Notre Dame touchdown. He missed his first attempt from 44 back in the first quarter. But this one, he's got. Play action. Pine down the sideline, wide open. A busted coverage and an easy touchdown for Logan Diggs. 29 yards. And now part of Mac Brown's staff at North Carolina. The blitz comes up the middle. Losing the football is May. Tried to avoid the rush. J.D. Bertrand came right up the middle. First and goal, handoff to the up back. Estime, he tries to leap over the pile and does for a Notre Dame touchdown. <laughs> 
Four man rush on third down and seven. And down goes Drake May, and it'll be fourth down. I'm shocked by that flag, though. You usually give a warning to an offensive line before that flag gets May down. with a shot up the seam and strike just what they needed. Antoine Green to the house. Touchdown. And Green just runs right by him, sets him a little bit off the line of scrimmage, and then completely burns by Clarence Lewis. Love the throw by Drake May, but that is just a inside release go route. Kind of frees him. to May again, up the middle again, into the secondary again, and it's another first down, 14 more. Right at you. Look at just the double team dense. I mean, that hole is enormous. It's all because the offensive eye for Notre Dame, they're getting these two double. Tyree at the goal line. He's in for the Notre Dame touchdown. Notre Dame's been so many third and shorts. Carolina's been so many third and longs. Third and three, so much easier to convert. Seam shot. And a big hit on Nesbitt and a flag out. Nesbitt held onto the football and JT Bertrand. No contact on his neck or head. I, it's an, I, I think it's an awful call. Stepping up is May. And May will go down. There is a sack, the second of the day for Riley Mills. Swing pass to Amari and Hampton. He's looking for the pylon. Over the top of it. No signal yet. Yes, it is a Carolina touchdown. The freshman just able to sneak the ball over the pylon. Bugler, who does a great job with draft prep, and he was saying Marvin Harrison Jr., if he could come out of the draft, would go before Smith and Jigba. Look at this run by Estime. A bowling ball down to the 42-yard line. <laughs> And back to Estime, up the middle. Breaking tackles. Still on his feet as he gets a push, backs his way down to the 12-yard line. Six straight runs for 54 yards on this drive. Here's Estime. Spinning for the goal line, lost the football on his way down. And they will say it is a touchback and a North Carolina takeaway with 3.20 to go. Six straight runs for 54 yards on this drive. Here's Estimate. Spinning for the goal line, lost the football on his way down. And they will say it is a touchback and a North Carolina takeaway with 3.20 to go. Notre Dame brings edge pressure. And May just gets it away wide open as Green for the touchdown. On fourth down and 21 with a late flag throw after the touchdown was scored with a minute 44 to go North Carolina is going to have a chance for an onside kick to keep slim hopes alive but Notre Dame surrenders a touchdown bomb on fourth and a mile what a agree with that flag in that moment it was Kim the first time let's see if Burnett tries the other side it'll be Kim Bunts it forward, and it is jumped on top of, it looks like, by Brandon Joseph. As I'm not even sure that ball would have made it the necessary 10 yard. So Mac Brown opting not to use the timeout, I guess, makes eye contact across the field with Marcus Freeman and says, yes, this game is over, and you can indeed take a knee. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.